Ooh, yes. Packing and more packing, but it's all coming together. I gotta empty the linen closet, though. <laughs> and I went ahead and made the bed just because I couldn't handle looking at it all torn apart. I did figure out, I think I figured out what I'm wearing tonight. I could change my mind by tonight, but <clears throat> I'm going with some something comfortable. Some sparkly chucks <laughs> and sparkly pants and maybe a white, black and white you know, 2015 black and white kind of year because everything really is coming down to the black and white, what you got to do. <laughs> Not really given any choices, you know, of other colors right now. I Seriously, um, it's New Year's Eve and uh, I'm just about ready to go head back to the hotel. I have decided I need to dress in comfort because one, it is super cold outside. And two, I just really don't have time to try and decide what's going to be pretty. And I think that's pretty enough with little sparklies, you know. And it'll be comfortable. <laughs> so, but like I said, I, I could still change my mind by the time I <laughs> get to the hotel tonight. But I am bringing a few other options. But really, truly, it boils down to this is the type of year that I'm ending where... I don't really have too many choices happening right now between the flood and having to all of a sudden pack out the house to all of a sudden have to be open to living elsewhere temporarily to having to give up the cat for a while to, you know, having to put all my clients on, you know, I'll get to. So, you know, 2014 ended for me with limited choices. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm going with the limited black and white tonight, I think, while I have my beer and get in some dancing, because it makes the most sense. And, uh, well, hopefully 2015 will smooth out the the chaos. I, I don't know. I just know that we're going to be living temporarily in a different residency, and this house is going to be gutted, and I've got enough clothes packed, I think, for me and everybody else so hopefully it'll be okay you know i just know it's new year's eve hopefully the electricity has come back on at the hotel <laughs> and I'm, I'm i'm due for a bubble bath and, and some beer and some dancing and you know it'd be great to get a kiss at midnight but that's probably not going to happen i mean it hasn't happened in like 10 years now so <laughs> No matter what I wear, whether it's something pretty or something pretty sexy, <laughs> you know, no matter what. Guys, I guess they just don't look at me anymore at midnight and think, I'm going to go give that girl a kiss. <laughs> but, you know, I can kiss myself any time <laughs> of the year. <laughs> Even at the end of the year. <laughs> but, yeah, WW. D-C-D. -D. What would Dick Clark do? Ah, uh, yes. You know, it's not New Year's Eve without Dick Clark. It just seems strange. Uh, seriously, truly, you know, as an ex-bandstand dancer, New Year's Eve was very much a part of waiting to watch Dick Clark on New Year's Eve give Carrie, his wife, that kiss at midnight. And I know that Carrie is definitely missing that kiss at midnight, but I'm glad to see that she is still getting to watch the ball drop. So, uh, that being said, yeah, <laughs> what would Dick Clark do? It's New Year's Eve. He would definitely bring in the new year. So, Happy New Year's! <laughs> I do hope 2015 brings contentment to everyone. I miss seeing Dick Clark give Carrie that kiss at midnight. Anyway, um, Happy New Year's. <laughs> May 2015 bring you much contentment. I've got to make sure this horn works. <laughs> yes, it does. Happy New Year's. Top 97 <laughs>